Hey guys, Brooks here, First Baptist Church of the Islands. Uh, I'm not outside this time. I'm a wimp, I guess. I came inside, uh, but I'm here in my kitchen, and uh, here's a sign right here that I uh, handcrafted, handpainted uh, myself, or or maybe not. That, that's my daughter working the camera. She's she's going to get sent to her room as soon as this video is over. But no, I didn't really um, handcraft that or paint that. But uh, I really am in our kitchen. But this uh, this day starts. Holy Week. A lot of folks call this week leading up to Easter Holy Week. And uh, of course, Friday is Good Friday. Uh, Sunday is Easter Sunday. And the day that you're viewing this, at least the day it goes out, is on a Monday. And uh, before we read a passage that captures what happened on that Monday of Holy Week, according to uh, Scripture, I want to ask you a question. Are you a planner? Or are you one who likes to plan a lot? Or are you one who has everything according to a structure? Because when we read about this Holy Week, what you find in the book of Luke, at least, is that there were things that happened throughout that week leading up to Good Friday, leading up to Easter Sunday, that very obviously were part of God's plan. And he was accomplishing things in order, in sequence, for a specific reason. What we find in the book of Matthew, uh, chap or rather in the book of Luke, excuse me, chapter 19, what we find is that Luke helps us to understand what went on during that Holy Week. And he makes an interesting statement about what happened in Jesus' ministry on Monday. There wasn't a lot that is recorded in Luke, but this is what Jesus did on Monday of Holy Week. And so it says, Jesus entered the temple, and he began to drive out those who were selling, saying to them, It is written, and my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a robber's den. And he was teaching daily in the temple, but the chief priests and the scribes and the leading men among the people were trying to destroy him, and they could not find anything that they might do, for all the people were hanging on to every word he said. Man, what an incredibly riveting passage of Scripture that is, right? That everybody was gathered around there, hanging on to everything that Jesus was saying as he led up to the time of the crucifixion and then ultimately the resurrection. But there was something there on Monday that Jesus obviously wanted to cover, and that was when he called his father's house a house of prayer. I read a book a while back by Jim Cimbala, and he made mention uh, about how in this passage of Scripture that Jesus did not say, speaking of the church, that my father's house should be known as a house of worship, as important as that is. He didn't say that it would be known as a house of, of, of uh, preaching, as important as that is, or a house of fellowship. What he said was, my father's house is to be known as a house of prayer. And man, that begs the question that we have to answer. One, is our church a place of prayer? Are we known for prayer in the eyes of the Father? But then number two, are we as followers of Jesus also known as people of prayer? In these days facing this virus, I don't know for you, but, but for me, it's really caused me to focus more on prayer than what I had before. And maybe for you, that's been something that has been lacking. But my encouragement for you today is to just pull away. Maybe it's right now when this video ends. Take a minute. Take a moment, maybe later today when you finish your tasks or are away from work, that you can carve out some specific time. But don't forget, all through the day, I mean, Scripture says pray without ceasing. You can do that. And the good news is that what John tells us in 1 John is that uh, when we pray according to God's will, He hears us. Right? He wants to hear from us because He loves us as, uh, as followers of Jesus. And so you focus on that. Pray. Be a person of prayer. And may our, may our church be a place known as a house of prayer. We hope you have a great week this week and uh, you enjoy God, everything he has for you. Later this week on Wednesday, we'll have our own time of prayer on Facebook Live, Wednesday and also Sunday evening, 6.30. Hope you can join us. God bless you. Have a great day.